Hey what's up guys this is Vishu from Geek Starts and in this video we are going to install and configure Java in our virtual machine. So if you see I already have my Linux virtual machine running and uh, if I do a Java minus version it gives me that the Java version currently running is 1.7 it's an open JDK runtime there's also a VM build but we are going to install a new Java like the updated one and the problem over here is usually you go into the oracle's website download java and install the executable but this is a server and that to a linux server so we can't do that so what we need to do is go into a new tab and search for install java linux wg and this would lead us to a stack overflow question where you will get the command and all you have to do is copy paste the command and it will install java this is the one i guess there are various other pages that you if you want to refer you can just go in there but uh, there's this really good answer where you just have to copy paste so this is the updated one jdk8 so take the rpm one so copy this whole thing come on to your instance and do a wget and right click so it will start downloading your rpm so wget is like a tool which we use to download packages from the internet and as you see I wrote wget twice but that doesn't matter it's still downloading and the last extension of this file is rpm which stands for red hat package manager now since we are running a red hat distribution this would run in our machine but if you have an ubuntu you will need to install rpm using apt get but since we already have a Red Hat distribution, we don't need to do all those things. So to install an RPM package, all you do is sudo because we are a normal user as you can see here. So we do sudo RPM minus I which stands for install. Let me first show you the file. So if I do an ls, you see the RPM package. So what I'm going to do is sudo RPM minus I JDK. And hit tab so it will autofill the whole uh, name because that's the only name that we have so that's it it has unpacked and it has installed so now if I do uh, Java minus version it would still have the same one it actually doesn't has the same one it has a new one but I will also show you how to configure the Java to use the new one instead of using the by default one so we are going to change the binaries so that your system always picks the new one so what you're going to do is first do sudo you don't need to do sudo oh yeah so you're going to slash usr as bin so you need to be a root or a sudo user so what i'm going to do is sudo usr as bin alternatives alternatives that's still I don't need to sudo I guess alternatives of my bad so alternatives minus minus install then you're going to tell what you're where you're installing so I'm going to install in USR bin Java this is like the default location for Java in Linux and so first you put install where you want to install then you put what you want to install so I'm going to install Java and from where are you going to install this so usr java jdk 1.8.0 bin and java so once you do this where did i mess up okay so you also need to give a priority so priority is any number that you put at the end to tell the kernel that this needs to be done right away so what i'm going to give do is give it a priority of 3000 and it's giving me a permission denied because I'm a normal user and I cannot do anything in sbin sbin usually stands, stands for system binaries and I can't change system binaries so I'm going to do a sudo and this is going to execute like normal so once you do this we can check this now by doing usr sbin with sbin alternatives and minus minus config config java so now you see that we have three options and it has by default chosen the 
second one which we have right now and this is the right one i think no, it's not the right one we need to select number three because you see we only need this location we don't need the jre so we are just going to use the plain old java so i'm going to do three and i'm going to hit enter now if i do a java minus version you will see that we are using java 1.8.0 which was the one that we were using earlier let me try this again so configure java okay so we already enter to keep the current selection or so let me try three did i put sudo yeah so what what am i oh so we already have the current selection at three yeah so three is already running so we don't have to do anything so that's it for this video and in next video we are going to install glassfish so i'll see you guys in the next video